What's up, everybody? Give it a few minutes for everyone to kind of get in here and join, and then we'll take it from there. What'd you guys all trade today? BLIN, I assume. What's up? What's up, Harry? Hey, Bal. Give it a few minutes for everyone to kind of get in here and then we'll start. Uh, the structure of this uh, Instagram is going to be really cool, actually. I'm going to talk about some, uh, some MIC stuff. And then from there, I'm going to open it up to people that want to kind of join the Instagram with me. And just answer their questions live. What's up, Sam? Finally, a nice day in New Jersey. Summertime is kind of weird over here, right? Uh, we get... 75 degrees and sunny, but the next day we'll get fucking hurricanes and thunderstorms. So, you know, I never know how to dress when I'm going outside because shit is always so deceiving. I'm wearing my Bow Matrix shirt today, and it's a long sleeve, and it's fucking so beautiful out. So, I'm gonna start sweating in a few. <laughs> What's up, Tosh? Hey, Tony. Just like Florida. Yeah, tomorrow we'll have a blizzard. Exactly, Sam. The weather in New Jersey is so bipolar. Last summer was fucking terrible. Uh, last summer, every Friday and Saturday, it rained over here. So last summer, I was just basically stuck at home. So I've been making like a conscious effort to do my best, like go outside more and get some fresh air because, I don't know, I kind of get cabin fever when I'm home and only looking at my trading monitor all day, every day. So... Uh, probably like another minute, I'm gonna start it. Can everyone hear me and see me all right? I'm in North Jersey, Bergen County. Yeah, it is absolutely beautiful here today. It really is. Today is a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Where's my shades? <laughs> Good point. What's up, Jason? Armando, what's up? I see Oliver just joined. What's up, Oliver? Alex got a fresh fade. <laughs> yeah, I woke up at like five in the morning today and I went to my barber shop at six in the morning. He normally doesn't open up that early, but I gave him like a really nice tip and said thank you a bunch of times and brought him breakfast. And in exchange, he opened up his shop early for me to kind of cut my hair before uh, all the action started. So I got my hair cut and then I came right to my fucking desk. And by the time I got to my desk, that was already there. So it was perfect timing. Uh, I was looking kind of homeless. I sent a picture to the guys yesterday. My beard was fucking massive. My hair was like a fucking afro. For the past couple of weeks, I haven't really left my house. I've been kind of trying to work on this uh, annual event and a bunch of other cool stuff in the pipeline, so I haven't really had much time to do anything. All right, give me another second. So, a couple things I want to talk about. Oh, wait, let me record. Give me a sec. We were having some issues recording last time, so I want to make sure I record again. Okay, so a couple things I want to talk about today, and then I'm going to bring on people for the Instagram Live. 
Uh, number one, Bao announced our uh, one year event yesterday. So this is something that's really kind of unheard of, right? So let me kind of explain the structure for how we're doing this one year event and then we'll to kind of take it from there. So uh, on Saturday, August 17th, we are having a free meetup on uh, in Philly. The location is still unconfirmed. It's hard to kind of find a location to fit a couple hundred people. So on Saturday, we're gonna have a meetup open to all in Philly. All of the information for signing up is in MIC. It is in the After Hours channel. It is in the VIP Meetups channel. It is in the Bootcamp channel. And it is in the Watchlist channel. So there's gonna be a registration form. And that registration form is only for Monday. So Saturday is going to be a free meetup for everyone. Sunday is going to be a rest day. Uh, the reason why we're implementing a rest day is because I've been to plenty of events with Bao and usually there's never a Saturday night where he's not out really partying and drinking and having fun with the members. So instead of him kind of being hung over the next morning, I implemented a rest day on Sunday to make sure that he gets enough rest, to make sure that he doesn't lose his voice, to make sure that he's calm, cool, and collected for the event on Monday. And Monday is gonna be kick ass. And what we're doing on Monday is it's going to be a live trading event. So what that means is Bao is going to be in front of everyone. Uh, he is going to walk you through our process of how we kind of do our analysis, how we do our research, how we plan our entries and exits. And he's going to be trading live in front of everyone. Um, this is something that like really no one else could do, right? Because if you're in front of people and you're trading in front of people, uh, people are going to be able to tell instantly if you're a scammer or not. And that's why most of these furus don't have live trading events. Uh, the event is going to be 100% 100, 100 free. Uh, you don't pay for entry. You don't pay for anything. All you do is you pay for your flight and your hotel. Um, every other furu charges thousands of dollars for this event or events like this. And what they do is they don't even teach you anything. They basically have you there so that they can sell you on their DVDs, right? Uh, we're not gonna sell you on any DVDs because we give it to you all for free. Uh, we're not gonna sell you on a timeshare or anything like that. You show up, you get educated, you leave. That's it, it's gonna be 100% free for lifetime and annual members only. Uh, lifetime members get to show up at 7 a.m. and have a private mentor. Oh my God, that fucking bee was huge. Uh, did you guys see that? Oh my God, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Lifetime members get to show up uh, at 7 a.m. and have like a private mentoring session while all of us are kind of there. Um, and annual members will show up at 8.30. So, and then trading starts at 9.30. So it's gonna be, uh, all the moderators are gonna be there. MIC is flying out the moderators to this event. And again, this event is 100% free. We're not gonna sell you anything. We're not gonna upcharge you on anything. Uh, we're not gonna sell you a DVD. We're not gonna sell you anything. You show up. You're going to be educated on the process. And from there, uh, oh, you guys finally saw the bee. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of lag on here. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I lost my train of thought. So, yeah, basically the sign-up sheet is in the uh, after hours watch list, all this other stuff. So, I mean, look, trading live is not going to be easy. I mean, there's obviously a lot of pressure if you're in front of hundreds of people doing that, but Bao is fucking disciplined. He is like a rock. He knows what he's doing and he's going to be able to educate you. And the way that we kind of envision this whole thing is that, you know, Bao is going to be there educating you on his trading process. I'll be there educating you on kind of like the mental aspect of trading. Hopefully we have Chicago trader there educating you on the fundamental analysis. We'll have Austin there educating you on uh, some long trades. We'll have Joe there uh, educating you on a system and building stuff like that. So we kind of plan on having a whole workshop on Monday. Um, and literally no one has done this before. And if they've fucking done anything like this, they're gonna charge you a shitload of money. They're gonna charge you thousands and thousands of dollars only to have you be upsold on their DVDs. Whereas this is 100 million percent free for lifetime and annual members. 
Uh, this is not for monthly members. This is exclusively only for annual and lifetime. Uh, and space is limited. So we announced this about 12 hours ago and already about 20 to 30% of the event is booked in less than one fucking day. So there's a lot of demand for our members to kind of come to this and it's going to be first come first serve. So, I mean, I'm excited for it. I'm really excited for it. Not only am I excited for the live trading event, which is going to be kick ass, I'm excited to see the whole team. I'm excited to meet the Oliver. I'm excited to meet James. I'm excited to see Joe again. Uh, I'm excited to kind of see and hang out with everyone. The event is August 17, 18, and 19 in Philadelphia. All the information is in MIC's uh, room. And again, this is 100% free. Um, all you have to do is be an annual or lifetime member. That's it. So that's that. That's that. Um, does anyone have any questions on that first before I continue? We should have Muay Thai come. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, if you're a monthly member, upgrade to annual or lifetime. Get him free forever to all the boot camps. This is not going to be the last boot camp that we have. This is not going to be the last thing that we have. Uh, we try to do these as often as possible. But the problem is, it's very, very, extremely hard to plan. And it is very, very expensive. And that's kind of what Bao was talking about yesterday in his Instagram live. You know, we could do this in Vegas and we could get a venue for $100,000 and we could get speakers and we could get the whole nine yards. But do you know who ends up paying for that? All of you guys. All of you guys have to pay for that. You have to pay $1,000, $2,000 for a ticket. And at the end of the day, is that really worth it? To us, it doesn't really make sense. That's why we try to keep these events free. We try to keep these events uh, in places not like Vegas because at the end of the day we want you to literally show up be educated and leave we don't want any filler we don't want any BS we don't want any nonsense we're gonna give you the meat of the entire fucking thing right when you get there plus we're gonna be at the uh, the event is gonna be from 7 a.m. to like 4 or 5 p.m. on Monday Yeah, we'll get some Philly cheesesteaks. Because the thing is, like, remember, me and Bauer are going to be at the hotel the entire time. So it's going to be a good way to kind of socialize with us and hang out with us. And the secret is if you want Bauer to get out of his room, just invite him down to the bar. And if you buy him one drink, he'll probably buy the entire bar drinks for the rest of the night. <laughs> so keep that in mind. That's the uh, fundamental analysis on Bauer's drinking. Does anyone have any questions on that before I continue? Okay, it doesn't look like we have any questions. Okay, so here's the next thing that I want to talk about. When we started MIC, our goal was to have a community of members helping members. We didn't want to have a hostile or a toxic environment. We did not want to have an environment where questions were discouraged. We want to have an organic environment where the members were truly helping other members, right? So the way that Bao works is he'll wake up one day, right? He'll wake up one day and he'll say, I want to do this, this, and this for the members. I want to help the members. I want to give back to the members in ways that other people aren't doing. Um, so one day, he woke up and said, hey, let's start a program called the Member Appreciation Program. And what that means is, let's reward the members in MIC for doing a good job. Let's reward the members uh, who are taking the time to help other members. Let's reward members who are active in chat, who are always helping, who are always positive. Let's show them that we really do appreciate them by giving them random gifts throughout the months or throughout the year. Uh, the first ever MAP program that we had, 
uh, we gave away these wireless chargers. And the way that we like to do these things is like, we like to give away things that we like. We like to give away things that we use. So the first MAP program uh, award winner, uh, we picked 25 to 30 people and they won these portable chargers that Bao uses every single time. The next round of MAP, we chose these Amazon Alexas because they were cool and we had it and we really wanted it. So we want to do the same thing. Um, so this time we're kind of changing it up. Um, Bao came to me and he was like, hey, pick around 20 people that you guys think are, uh, or pick around 20 people to win the map program. And, you know, after we kind of picked 20, we picked another one and then another one and then another one. And then before we knew it, we were at 30 people to win uh, this map program. And, you know, if you didn't win this time, you shouldn't be discouraged. Uh, it doesn't mean that we didn't see you. It doesn't mean that we didn't recognize you doesn't mean that you know we don't appreciate you it's just there's a thousand and thirty people in MIC we can't pick all a thousand people to win so don't be discouraged uh, we do this almost every month because we actually care and it's funny after we announced the member appreciation program uh, all these other chat rooms started copying us they started doing pizza parties and they started giving their members pizza and as you could tell they just did it one time just to fucking do it and they've never done it ever again. Whereas at MIC, we do it because we genuinely give a fuck. And that's why this is our fourth time doing the MAP program. Uh, and we've only been around for eight months. So it seems like every other month we've been doing a MAP program. So let me actually, I did, I did something like this, so. So I actually took the initiative and printed out the winners of MAP this round. So these are the winners of this round of My Investing Club's Member Appreciation Program. Um, all these people will be DM'd by Oliver Tan in MIC, and all of you guys will get $50 worth of free MIC swag, whatever you want. So Oliver will contact all of you, and he will let you guys know that you are the winners. And from there, pick any $50 worth of swag in the MIC store, and it's going to be comped on us. So thank you all for helping our members out. Thank you all for being such a positive influence on the community. The reason why MIC is so successful is, shit, like, it's all based on the members. We have members helping members out every single day. And... I mean, we wouldn't be where we are without you guys. So if I could clap right now, I would, or else I'd drop my phone. But seriously, thank you to all the members that made MIC so fucking amazing and continue to make MIC amazing every single day. <coughs> we chose around 30 people. We started off at 20 and we got up to 30 people. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. That's something else that, you know, we actually care about our members. We don't put on a show and we're not trying to bullshit anyone and we're not trying to do any of this stuff. We're actually showing you that we care about our members. Literally, I am not joking. Every single day, I work 19 hours a day trying to find ways to help members and try to make the whole MIC process more efficient. Literally, literally, I wake up at four in the morning and last night I slept at midnight. And I wake up again at four or five in the morning every single day. <coughs> There's no one else that throws free events for their members. There's no one else that does member appreciation programs. There's no one else that takes the time to help members every single day. Austin is now doing a webinar every single Thursday. Bao does Instagram lives on Mondays. I do it on Tuesdays. Tosh does a new member webinar on Wednesday. Austin does a two hour Q&A webinar on Thursday. Friday we have a rest day. Saturday, we have Saturday morning Q&A, and then Sunday, we have two videos. One video, Trading Basics from Joe, one video, Fundamental Analysis from Chicago. So throughout the week, we have seven videos. <coughs> throughout the week, we have seven videos every single week, no matter what, and it's all 100% free for members. We're not gonna sell you a DVD, we're not gonna sell you a timeshare, we're not gonna sell you anything. <coughs> we join MIC, 
<laughs> you get everything for free. Jeez. <coughs> All right. Next. So the final thing that I want to do is I want to bring on people into this Instagram live and answer their questions live. So if you close the Instagram live app and open it up again and click on this live video on the bottom by uh, on the bottom by the uh, the comment section, you'll see a message that says request to join Instagram live. And from there, <coughs> you could request to join. Sorry. Ah, uh, yes, Bao. I am recording, but I have no idea if it's going to work. <coughs> we don't upsell. We don't upcharge. You join MIC, you get everything forever for free. So let me see if I can pick someone to join now. Uh, does anyone want to be live? Does anyone like request to want to be in here? Like, is anyone like uh, interested? <coughs> All right, I requested for Will to join this Instagram live. So I'm waiting for him to accept. Okay, I guess it didn't work for Will. J underscore T, let's try that. What's up, man? Hey, man, what's up? Hey, do you see me all right? Do you hear me all right? Yeah, how's it going? Cool, cool. What's your name? Justin, I'm JT on MIC. Awesome, man, how do you like MIC? Love it, man. Been with you guys for, I think, five months. Love it. Awesome. Awesome, brother. Awesome. Do you have any questions? What's up? Um, just, no, I just wanted to stop in and say hi. I'm um, just trying to exercise a lot of discipline in this market. Um, sure. I, appreci I appreciate all the videos. I want to say hi to everybody. And yeah, I just want to say hi. I'd be the first one, I guess. On awesome, this live bro. Show. Awesome. That's good to hear, man. So, so talk to me about your discipline. Do you have kind of set rules in place that help you prevent uh, over trading. Like, as you know, like I always talk about my rule, you know, my rules at 11 a.m. I kind of cut it off to avoid the uh, zombie moves and all that stuff. So do you have a process for yourself to be able to be more disciplined or how do you do it for yourself? Um, I, I usually take a break at 1130, 1145. And I just, I just chat with my mom for like an hour. That's, it's, that's that easy, man. It's really yeah. that easy. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you need something, you need an external, force to help you get out you know what i'm saying so yeah i mean like, I, like for me for me i have bow and i have a trading accountability buddy that tells me every single day hey stop trading hey relax hey you know this it's about time that like you get away from here so do you have a tab and do you think that's helping for you or yeah i have a tab i have two actually so um i have uh rbt if he's, if he's in the if he's in the video chat right now and be from mic as well sure these guys are here. What's up? <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. I'm glad to hear, man. I'm glad to hear. That's good to hear, bro. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by, man. Yeah, thank, thank, thanks for accepting. Awesome, and uh, yeah, I look me... forward to more videos. Hell yeah. All right, let me see if I get more people. All right. Take... So cool. Um, I'll try Will again. How do you guys like this format? Hey, what's hey, up, bro? Hey, man. Um, this is Will. I go by Carolina Trader in the chat. Oh, of course, dude. You're uh, you're new, right? You just joined recently, right? Yeah, I just joined like last week. So, um, How do you like it, dude? It's my first chat, and I actually love it. I mean, I've learned more. Like, I was learning more just from watching the YouTube videos that y'all sending out than anybody yeah. else out there. Yeah, man. I mean, like, here's the thing. Like, I'm I'm so glad that you joined us before any other chat room because the the thing about MIC is that most of the time, people learn bad habits from other chat rooms. They learn the wrong thing to do. 
And there's a learning curve to unlearn all that bad stuff. Uh, so the fact that you join the right place right out of the gate already gives you a bigger edge and bigger advantage than any other person out there. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the YouTube videos are a great way to kind of learn. But as you see, the YouTube videos are kind of just like a, uh, a teaser of what's really out there. And then when you join, you see that there's like 350 videos. There's like 100 hours of content and it gets pretty overwhelming. But the thing is that if you take your time and actually watch the videos, you really do learn and you retain that knowledge, you know? Oh, no, I've already watched all the all of um, Aloha's videos. I've watched all the Great yeah. Fish already. I mean, like, my, I'm basically on the computer like 7 till, you know, 11, 30, 12, and then the rest is just video watchings and retakes, man. That's it. And then Austin has the webinar on Thursday, so be sure to kind of get your questions ready for that. Like, it's like, I feel like we do... We do so much, but we want to give you the proper fundamental base so right. that you can really have the fighting chance to really make it in this game. You know, can I, can I ask you one last question on yeah, VLIM? Anything. anything. So the um, 8.3 line was the first bounce. Correct. And then once it washed right under that, like when it reclaims, would that, that even be a good long setup on the reclaim, or would you actually expect it to wash back out because it kind of squeezed everybody? Sure. So the way that the first bounce works is that the first time it gets to that level, that's going to be the kind of entry point. The reclaim and all that other stuff to me is like noise. I don't really right. want to touch that stuff. I really just want the highest probability and the highest edge setup. And that's usually going to be the first bounce on a play like that. But as you see, what is what's the stock trading at now? I'm not at my computer. Um, it's actually sitting at like seven eighty nine right now. Seven eighty nine. And what was it? Eight dollars was like the death line, right? So essentially, it broke the death line, right? And rebounded, and then it had a big washout. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I mean, those are the set. Like for me personally, I like to focus on those death line setups because I feel like those are the easiest, the easiest money to be out there. But at the end of the day, it all requires a process too, because you can't just be shorting the death line and then that's it, game over. You have to be able to see that the death line breaks. It confirms, and then that gives you the confirmation that you should really be adding size into that position. Okay, man. All right. I appreciate it. Um, I just want to say thank you for, you know, everything you are doing at MIC. So, yeah, have a good oh, day, yeah, man. man. Be sure to be in after hours, bro. You, <laughs> I will. Are you, are you in after hours, or do you kind of mess around with after hours? Or Yeah, I do some, but I I'm, I have um, some work in the evenings a lot. And then I was busy with school all week last week, so – that's really about it. But I, I was the one sending the pictures on the lake yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I was seeing that. I was seeing that. But, yeah, that's the thing that we also say to everyone. Be sure to be in after hours because you never know, like, all the golden nuggets that bow drops and all, like, the kind of uh, – I mean, trading is lonely, bro. Like, trading is lonely as hell. And, like, especially for me, dude, if I'm sitting in my room all day and I'm just, like, watching Netflix while trading, it's just like – I don't know. I've, I've always needed other people around me to help elevate me and motivate me. So having uh, like a community of people where everyone is ambitious and motivated to do more gets me even more excited every single fucking day to go to work, you know? Yeah, it, it actually like makes me want to get up more every single day because I got people backing me up where, you know, if I fail, you, you know, you get back up and you keep trying. That's it, man. That's it. That's the fuck. That's the goal right there. Awesome, man. Awesome. I'm glad you came on. Thank you so All much. Right. Thank you, man. You have a good day. You too, man. I'm loving this stuff, man. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Hey, who wants to go next? Send me a request, and uh, I'll uh, see if I can accept that. <coughs> Sorry, I've been having a cough endlessly. I don't know what the hell's going on. I really haven't been. I don't know what's going on. Sorry. Sorry for all the coughing. All right. Let me... Let me... <laughs> okay. Give me a second. Add. All right, I'm waiting for someone to come on now. Let's see if it's going to work. Hey. <laughs> there he is. What's, hey, your, what's, name, bro? Up, what's your name, bro? What's your name? So I've got a few questions about MIC. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, pal? Um, 
So I, I, I see you walk around a lot, man. Do you ever trade? <laughs> <laughs> I see you eating a lot, dude. Do you ever trade? <laughs> so so the, the key here, guys, is we, we always say, you know what, man? The, um, being a full-time trader does not mean trading all the time. And so this is why we use these downtimes, which we tend to lose a lot of money on during the midday because we're bored to do these recaps. And so just being here, guys, probably saved me a lot of money. Like AKRX just reclaimed the VWAP and just killed all the shorts. It's freaking back to the highs now, you know? So yeah. I like to say this. It's like, be, don't, don't worry about being a full-time trader all the time. Uh, a lot of people go, oh, I wish I could become a full-time trader. But who knows what we're doing? Most of the time we're doing is we are, in the morning, we plan the stock, we execute the stock, and then we leave. We don't stick around. We don't, you know, we don't stick around and get killed. Um, and also, you have to keep in mind, everybody, that being the smartest guy does not mean making the most money. It's being the most disciplined. So I love the fact that Alex is walking around and we are doing this now because I would be bored. I would be fucking around and I'd fucking lose my money back, you know? So you can yeah. talk about that too, Alex. So thanks, man. Yeah, I mean, that's the truth. So what happened with me is I had to kind of track all my stats and see why I was losing money in the midday. And it turned out that after 11 a.m., is when I started to lose the most amount of money because the volume shrinks and we get more of these rat, random fucking squeezes that happen. So I learned that if I cut my trading off by 11 a.m. and do an Instagram live or answer my DMs or do something else to occupy that time, it's not like uh, I am making more money long term because from 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock for me feels like the casino time. It feels like I'm just playing roulette on a casino and I don't have any control. So for me personally, uh, I lack discipline in walking away. I need to physically remove myself from the situation to be able to successfully implement a disciplined uh, trading process. So I do these walks, I get out of here, and every single time I tell Bao, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, because if I don't tell him that, he will be sitting there and scalping until 3.59 p.m. every single day, no matter what. He's bored too. Like I, it's it, we get it. You feel like you have to Bao says being a full time trader. I make all of my money within one hour of the trading day, from nine thirty in the morning to ten thirty. I don't trade pre market. I don't trade after hours. And Remember, this process works for Alex. Each process is going to be tweaked for you. So go back to your trades and see when you do well, when you do not. And things such as the time period. You know, like if you're a long side trader, maybe trade during the zombie hours is good. So we talked about that a lot. Right. There's a lot of these stocks that are zombie. And so as a long biased trader, maybe that's a good time for you to trade. Maybe Correct. in the morning, I mean, maybe in the afternoon when the stocks tank, being a long side trader, you just leave. Do not fucking trade after 1 p.m., for example. Because during that time, these stocks tend to fade all the way back down. But only you would know. So go back to what you're doing, see your wins, and see what was successful, and see your losses, see what was not successful. And a lot of people don't look at the time factor. So look at the time as well. Yeah, yeah. And also recognize that you do not have to trade every single day. Just because a stock is moving does not mean that you have the obligation to trade it. I did not trade today. Um, I feel 100% comfortable not trading today because I saw that my setup wasn't there. But you better believe that when my setup presents itself either tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to be mentally focused, I'm going to be sharp, and I'm going to be prepared to attack that. And that's just yep. how it is. That's just how it is. So size up the best setups, guys, and just avoid all the crap. You know, wait, when you don't see something, yep. Yeah, it's true, man. It's true. Exactly. Because what happens is this, man. A lot of people like, this is what I, I get fucked up to. I dick around, make $100, $200, a scalp, you know. And then the one, because it's marginal setups, right? And so, but the one time I lose, it's going to be $1,000. So I just right. lost like all the work I did on one marginal fucked up process because I'm bored. So what Alex is doing is right. He's hitting the best setups hard. And avoiding all the bullshit. It's like the it's like the blackjack hand analogy, Alan. Can you talk about that too? Yeah. So imagine in blackjack. So funny story. Uh, I hope my brother's not watching this, but I'm going to Vegas for his birthday. But I'll explain that after the analogy. Uh, 
the way it works is if you've ever played blackjack, you know that uh, you cannot see your cards before you bet. You must bet before you see your cards. So think about trading and think about it this way. Imagine if in blackjack you could see your hand before you bet and you have two kings that you get. So that's usually a nine out of ten times you're going to win that time. So imagine the same analogy in trading. Imagine you only bet your money when you see two kings show up, as in you see a perfect setup. Uh, wouldn't you be betting big every single time you see that perfect setup and avoiding every single time you get a, uh, 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 an eight and a three, an uh, eight and a five or some shit? I don't know. Whatever it is, I don't really gamble too much. Yeah, I, I would like add one more thing. Remember, in, in in trading, there's no such thing as a perfect 100% setup. So right. you cannot be all YOLO, all this, because you know what, man? You're going to get a black swan situation where you have 20 and the blackjack has blackjack. I mean, a deal has blackjack, so you're fucked. So you always want to use risk as well. But so knowing that, why not wait until you have optimal hands, like 19s and 20s, right? So FOMO comes when you, you get bored, you sit around, because you don't see the 19s and 20 hands. And so you start dicking around and you start entering 18s and losing, even 17, you know? So keep that in mind. Risk is always there. But at the same time, man, if this is like playing blackjack where you don't have to bet until you see the setup. Correct. It's true. Cool, man. Thanks. I'm going to get off so someone else get on. <laughs> I'll see you, man. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Whoever that guy was was smart. You should probably join MIC. All right, let's get the next guy. Daniel. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? Give me a second. I didn't think you were about to choose me just now. <laughs> it's all good, bro. It's all good. Your name's Daniel? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. What are you eating? Anything good? A little protein bar, man. I was working out this morning. <laughs> or cool. What's up? Are you an MIC? I am an MIC. Uh, I joined like a month ago. Um, How do you like it? I love it, man. It's um, I've only joined one other chat room. Okay. Um, it didn't have anywhere near as much as education as you guys have on there. It was just some random chat room I found on IG, and I just was trying to. I didn't know what a chat room was like, so sure. I just joined it. I just joined it just to see, you know, what it was all about. I'm glad you're in the right place, man. I'm yeah, me right too. <laughs> What's your username at MIC? Uh, it's my last name, which is just Camacho. Cool, bro. Yeah. So how do you so so what do you have any questions for me or like what what's up? Talk to me. Um yeah, well I'm still a, I'm still very new, still okay. uh super beginner at this, man. Um no problem. I was highly interested probably starting at the end of 2018. Um, you know, started to just look up interviews and one of the ones I came across was yours. And then sometime after heard that you were doing a you know, a community. I wanted to kind of stalk you guys first for a little bit and see what was up because yeah. I've had, you know, I've got a bad taste in my mouth in the past from just trying to actually buy courses. And then there's just more upselling and more BS. <laughs> That's how you know? it works. You buy this DVD and then you ask a question. They say, oh, it's in DVD number two. Or it's just annoying, dude. I just, I was like, I'm tired of this. I, I guess I just got to do it all on my own and look up as much free content as I can. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to learn so much. Uh <laughs> I've really just been in the beginning. Like, I didn't paper trade that much in the beginning. Um, I didn't really, you know, platforms and stuff like that was very overwhelming. So I thought, all right, I'll give Robinhood a chance. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, um, cool. you know, I gave, I basically would just start with little, little money, you know, money that I didn't care about losing, um, sure. just to get a real feel for it and see how, mar you know, see how markets work out and see how things move and, and stuff. You know, I had a few good lucky ones. They just seemed to always work out in the morning. Um, I never was confident enough to try to hold anything. I did get lucky a couple times holding stuff overnight. But I, but I didn't really know what I was doing. It was just more out of luck. And I was you just lack the process. chasing. You were missing a process. Yeah, to that's one thing I haven't put down or really understood how to make it as a real process and a real plan. And, you know, all the important things that come with actually knowing how to do this. Sure. So first things first, are you a long bias trader or a short bias trader? Right now, I'm, I'm learning how to be a long bias. I haven't fully mastered shorting. No not confident no yet for that. <laughs> no so the way that we tell people is like, obviously, master one thing first. Don't try to fucking do 10 things at once. So right. first things first is the first bounce videos. I'm sure you've seen some of them, or if not, I'm sure you'll check it out after this. But 
the first bounce is a really, really good setup because it's very simple. It's the first bounce that the stock makes. And, you know, for me, what my shorting process is, is that, I mean, I look at the float. So what you do on the first bounce is you want a low float stock. You want a high institutionally owned stock. You want a stock ideally on SSR to give you a little bit more of an edge. And you want something that has no dilution. So just from those kind of things that I said, there should be like some sort of checklist. So maybe you could create like a checklist that says float under 3 million, check. Institutional ownership over 20%, check. Uh, SSR, check. No dilution, check. And then when you have all that stuff, that gives you the kind of confirmation to tell you, hey, this is going to be a setup that makes the most sense for me. And then from there, you could take it. Because in the new member channel, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but we have kind of like a, uh, like a template of a checklist. So you can yeah. kind of tweak that and mold that into your own uh, fitting. But yeah, dude, I mean, the thing that people don't really talk about is the process. You need that process. And that quick five things that I said is already, you're already so much more ahead if you do that type of research for all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? That but uh, Harry has like a lot of videos on this stuff. He has a lot of good education on this stuff. And shit, man, just hit him up and call him in chat. You could just hit him up and call him. He yeah. does like trader calls now too. I've been know? pretty quiet in the chat. Of, um, Don't be quiet, bro. Socialize yeah. after hours. Get out there and get people to know you and just be friendly because bro, trading is lonely as hell. But in after hours, you have a thousand people that are motivated and ambitious and you have people that are all trying to be uh, better at the first bounce. You have mm -hmm. Brittany who didn't know shit about the first bounce. Now she talks to Harry all the time and she's gotten very, very good at it. So you could even reach out to Brittany, Harry, and all these people who are more than excited to help because they were in the same situation you were in a couple months ago and they would have loved if someone else did that for them. You know, that's right. why MIC is so different. We're all there to help each other out because that is the culture of the club. Uh-oh. There we go. Sorry, connection was you were kind of lagging for a second. All good, man. All good. But um, but yeah, um, the I I I haven't fully watched the first bounce strategies yet. I've been kind of watching some a lot of a lot of uh, Joe Kelly stuff. I think the the one video that he um, talked about, I think it was um, consistency and size and stuff like that. Consistency doesn't. Yeah. Oh no, sizing doesn't lead to like. Uh, yeah, that that video spoke really spoke to me. I'm sure, it speaks exactly. to a lot of people, but I was just like, man. <laughs> yeah, that video is kick ass, man. The ranting was really good. Go. Yeah, Shout for sure. Man, awesome. Um, awesome. I definitely I'm plan to like try and do a lifetime membership with you guys. You know, you guys have such great pricing. Just on, I don't know. It's all great. It's everything you guys offer is first thing I've ever come across. Uh, all, all the great content, just constant, all this that you're doing, you guys do, the, the videos, the IG lives, it's it's perfect. Yeah, man. We literally, we work our asses off because we want to actually help people out. Like, there is, mm. well, no one else is going to throw free events. No one else is going to throw free meetups. No one else is going to not upsell you on DVDs. But we're going to give you the fucking fighting chance that you need to make it in this game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Amen, man. Awesome. Thanks for coming on this Instagram Live, bro. Yeah, Have thanks for inviting me, man. Have a good one. You too, man. Bye. Bye. Ah, this is fun. I love it. Awesome, guys. Awesome. All right, I think I'm going to uh, wrap this up here. Um, the only reason why is because I know that a lot of people don't watch these videos when it gets like really close to an hour long. So I want to keep it short and sweet so that everyone kind of sees it. So, uh, thanks everyone for joining. Thanks for coming in and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Have a great day.